I kind of stiffened my back up straight when I heard, you know, 150. $4.9 million. I was like, what? what? State Senator Marty Flynn was shocked when he learned the Pennsylvania Turnpike doesn't collect tens of millions of dollars in tolls every year. Flynn isn't okay with it. At, at some point, there's mismanagement there, and we just have to, you know, bring it, rein it in some way or other and, and, uh, and get the money. In the 2021 fiscal year, Turnpike revenue hit $1.2 billion. About 95% of tolls were collected. It's the missing money that troubles Flynn. Over the last five years, we lost $379 million. So that, that, to me, that's alarming. It, it is frustrating because it's a fair share. Turnpike CEO Mark Compton claims Pennsylvania's lost tolls are in line with other states. He disagrees with claims that the elimination of toll workers is to blame. The Turnpike had been planning to switch to all electronic tolling in October of 2021. The pandemic moved those plans up by more than a year. I tell you the system's uh, working as designed. Flynn doesn't see it that way. He thinks some drivers would pay if there was a toll collector, especially in busy locations that tend to see a high rate of loss. A toll worker costs the state $130,000 a year. And we're losing millions and millions of dollars a year. That's not a part of the plans. Instead, the real problem claims Compton are drivers who get invoices and choose not to pay. Millions and millions of dollars that we have to focus on on, on getting, getting for, for Pennsylvania. Flynn is calling on the Turnpike Commission to be more aggressive in collecting that money. Currently, the Turnpike is working to add new payment options like Venmo, Apple Pay and Kubra. The Turnpike is also updating its website and adding a toll-by-plate app. We're continuing to, to evolve that process to meet our customers where they want to be met. Still, 50% of all losses are from out-of-state vehicles, most commercial. The Turnpike Commission is working with lawmakers in Pennsylvania and nearby states like Ohio and New Jersey to share information needed to send bills and to toughen penalties. We do have some investigators that work on our behalf who also have been and are looking into what we call those high flyers. Keep working hard on getting solutions because mm. I'm not going to stop and <laughs> until I get answers and we get this finished. And Shannon, WGAL News 8.